Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So what I wanna to touch on today is getting more face-to-face -face meetings, right? Look, I understand that you're great salespeople here in real estate, I understand that, but it's really hard to get a contract signed over the phone, right? You have to get more face-to-face -face meetings, and today we're gonna to go over a few techniques, not big things, okay? It's not like, hey, you know what you should do? You should prospect. You know you have to prospect, okay? You know you have to do the things, work on your skills, call your database, you know all that. It's little adjustments, little adjustments that now in 2018 might be able to get us more face-to-face -face meetings because that's the key. If you don't get face-to-face, -face, you have no chance of getting the listing, okay? Or if you're working with a buyer, getting a buyer to see property. You gotta have the face-to-face -face meetings but the trick is, how do you get more of them? And the reason I'm bringing this up today is because I think we have too many leads. Well, we're, I'm following up with them, I'm following up with them, I'm following up with them. Okay, no more following up. Let's get them going. Let's get face to face and we can talk about it, let's figure it out. You are a real estate professional. So remind them of that, hey look it, I'm a professional, let's sit down and let's talk about it. We have to get more face-to-face. -face. We have too many leads that are just piling up and we're following up on them and nothing's coming from it, okay? Let's get face-to-face, -face. let's find out if they're motivated, ready to go, and if they are, let's get them moving forward, and if they're not, let's get them out and start prospecting for new stuff, all right? But we have to get that face-to-face -face meeting. So let's jump into this. Again, nothing crazy. You're not gonna listen to this video and go, oh, well, blinding flash of the obvious, Robert, okay? Or we've been doing that for 50 years, but it's the little adjustments, okay? So keep that in mind. That might have a big impact on your business getting those face-to-face -face meetings. Okay, here, let's jump into this. First thing I wanna talk about, lead follow-up. You have a lead, you're following up. Stop following up as just a follow-up. And here's what I mean. You have a lead that they, you know, were interested in buying six months ago, but it just didn't work out. And then you call them, you say, hey, you know, you were looking to buy six months ago, are you interested now? And that's just more of a, ah, I know, we're still waiting, we still wanna do this. That's what's gonna happen. So don't do that. Follow up with some information and close. Hey, you know, you were mentioning about buying six months ago, well, I wanted to let you know, interest rates have been on the rise since then, so I wanna see if maybe now we can get together, talk about getting you locked into the lower interest rate and get you into a property. Okay, something like that. Hey, you know, you know we were talking about buying six months ago. Well, wanted to give you an update on the market in your area that you're looking to buy. 30 homes closed last month, 20 sold for list price and above. Very aggressive market right now. Price is going up. So it's really the best time to get involved. So can we get together Friday for 15 minutes and talk about this, get you approved and go see some property? Okay, give them a nugget of information. Don't just follow up to follow up because they'll just keep dragging you along. And if you start talking about that with buyers or sellers or things like that, and you're giving them that information and they're still dragging you on, it might be time to move them out because they're just gonna drag on forever, especially your buyers. If you're talking to buyers and you're telling them interest rates are up, prices are up, very competitive market, low inventory, and they're still going, uh, ah, no, 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 no. Like if that can't get you going, then I don't know what is, okay? Sellers, you know, same thing. This is what's going on in your market. We have a lot of buyers that are bidding on it. Okay, they're going above asking price. This is what's happening. I mean, like, get them, give them some information, get them excited about what's going on so they make them think, okay? So focus on that with your lead follow-up. Don't just follow up to follow up. Give them a nugget of information and go for the close. Be strong and confident on it, okay? That's number one, get face-to-face. -face. The second thing is when you're talking to people, you gotta, you gotta give them a story. Okay, we gotta sell stories that are relatable to them. Okay, and what I mean by that is, let's say you're, you're door knocking and you're going around condos and it's, hey, well, you know, I'm just going around the condo building, I wanna see who do you know that might be looking to buy or sell and take advantage of this market. Now that's going to work sometimes, you do that enough, you're gonna find business, but give them a story, make it relatable to them. Hey, you know, I'm going around, I just helped a buyer sell their, I'm sorry, helped a buyer buyer purchase this property or I helped a seller sell their property as condo a lot of condos in the area are selling right now because buyers are taking their equity, using it for a down payment on a single family residence so they have their own space and they stop paying HOA dues. And I'm just wondering, who do you know that might be looking to take advantage of that? What about yourself? You see how that makes it more relatable to them? It's not a broader scope of things. It's they're taking their equity that they've built up, 
They're using that for the down payment on a single family residence. They're having their own space. They're getting rid of the HOA dues. Now when you paint that picture, you sell that story to them, it's going to get a couple additional people to think about that go, oh, that's interesting. So there's a lot of people in the area, oh yeah, absolutely. Your complex and other complex, con and, and look, it's true. I'm not lying to them. Look at whatever city you're in, if you look at the condo market, they're selling usually a lot faster as far as the turnover rates in single family residences because people are doing that. They buy condos for the most part because it's their first house. They need it for price-wise, okay? So they buy the condo, but then they build up the equity. They take that equity, use that for the down payment of their single family residence. There's no more HOA dues. They have their own space. So you now get in the door. Let's get together for 15 minutes. Let's talk about it. You know, wow, you know, we're thinking about it. I didn't know that was going on. Yeah, well, let's talk for 15 minutes. Let's go over the numbers. Yeah, but aren't, you know, but if I buy another house, you know, the prices are higher on those. Well, yeah, they are, but we're cutting out your $400 to $500 a month HOA dues. So that's going to, even though you're going to have a higher payment, I'm sorry, higher mortgage, the payment's probably going to be less or equal because you don't have that extra payment. You see what I'm saying? But they're not thinking about that. But they're also thinking about, well, it's too expensive. I don't have the down payment. That's why I bought this property. It's the equity. You built up the equity. We'll transfer that now. Okay, it's the little things, but it's selling the story that's relatable to them to now they think about it as opposed to just, this is what's selling in the market. Who do you know that might be looking to take advantage of it? Paint a picture. Sell it to them. You're still going to get a lot of notes. This is not magic, right? Where it's like, oh my God, that's the one that's going to get everyone to say yes. You're still going to get a lot of notes. But I'm thinking that you're going to get more yeses. You're going to get a couple more people that are willing to have that conversation. Okay, so think about that. Sell that story. And it, I, I use the condo as an example. It doesn't matter wherever it is, sell the story to them. The third thing is make it seem that it's not that big of a deal that you're getting together. Here's what I mean by that. You know, if they, if you get any interest, if the people are like, no, I'm not interested, I'm not going, okay, move on. But it's the maybes. Well, I don't know, we're thinking about it. Maybe if we got the price, you know, ah, maybe in a couple months. You know what I'm talking about. You have those people. Too often we go, oh, okay, great. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll follow up with you next week and see how that goes. Oh, you know, okay, I'll follow up in a couple months. We'll see how that's going. Okay, that sounds good. No, don't do that. Get face to face with those maybes. Well, we're thinking about it. Well, hey, why don't we do this? Okay, it's only gonna take 15 minutes. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm not gonna waste my time. There's no obligation. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't hurt you in any way. And since it's a listing, I'll come to you so you don't even have to go anywhere. But let's get together as a professional. Let's look at the numbers. Let's look what it would sell for. Let's look at the net sheet, what you're gonna take home, and let's see if it makes financial sense. And if it does, great. And if it doesn't, look it, it doesn't. And we go you know, back to everything as normal. But let's at least just get together and talk about it. You see what I'm saying? Make that, make it seem like it's not that big of a deal. It's only 15 minutes, there's no obligation. You know? So that way they feel more comfortable. They don't feel like, okay, well, if I meet with them, I have to list. Now, look, at, we're going to go in there with the intentions of listing the house. We're going to bring the contract, doing a presentation, all that stuff. But if we make it seem like, look, at, let's just look at, let's just get together. Let's have a conversation. What your home's going to sell for, it's going to net, it's an obligation. But let's get together. You're going to break down some walls by doing that, and they're going to open up a little bit more. Again, not magic. This is not going to open up for everyone. But I'm telling you, if you do that, there's going to be one or two extra people in your prospect, and they're going to say, all right, let's get together. And now you're still going to prequal them to make sure there is some motivation that you're not going over there with just pipe dreams, that there is, if it makes financial sense, they're going to sell. But do that. Make that. You're going to open it up a lot more if you can have, have those conversations. But it's those maybes. Ah, let's get together. Don't put them on a follow-up because follow-up and what's going to happen? Well, again, we're still thinking about it. Follow-up, well, we're still thinking about it. No, let's get together. Let's talk about it. Let's make it happen. Because now you give yourself a chance, right? You get that face-to-face. -face, now you have a chance to actually look at the numbers and maybe they look at it and go, wow, this actually could work out. Let's go. You wouldn't have given yourself a chance to begin with. Okay? Get that chance. Get that face-to-face. -face, make it happen. All right? So those three things. Focus on those three things when you're prospecting this week. I'm telling you, it's going to make a big difference. You're going to get a lot more appointments. You're going to get a lot more good conversations moving forward. And it's going to have a big impact on your 2018. All right? That's your three things Thursday for the week. Please subscribe to my channel. You get all my videos, usually a couple a week. Hope you have a great week. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week.